This is The Punisher on the Sega Mega Drive, released by Capcom in 1995, possibly 94 in North America on the Sega Genesis. It's based on the arcade machine of the same name released in 1993, unsurprisingly, also by Capcom. It's a two-player simultaneous beat-em-up. The other player that you can control is Nick Fury, uh, Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. I find it funny because the, the basic mission of this game is you, you've got to kill the Kingpin, which I fully understand from Frank Castle, but isn't Nick Fury an Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D.? Pretty sure that's John Romata Jr. artwork there as well. It's um, it's a really, really good, at least in the arcade, it's a really, really good and you know highly regarded um, two-player beater. Let's get into this. Now, it's quite an expensive game to get this on the Mega Drive. Look at it, look at it. But hang on, Nick Fury's head's really small. Um, but at the same time, back in the day, it got a lot of flack. People said it was a very disappointing port of the arcade machine. This is how you make an entrance, people, by the way. Yeah. Not just Batman who does that. They said that, you know, because there's less bad guys, there's less objects, uh, there's less things to break. Um, but I look at it and what it is, you know, it's... It's on the Mega Drive, you know, it's, it's not as powerful as a Capcom System 2 hardware, which I have this as uh, the, the arcade port running on my Dingo, and it is very, very impressive. Yeah, this, it's a good port, you know, it's, it's certainly not as impressive as the arcade machine, but as I said, see prior statement, what do you expect? It's a Mega Drive. It's certainly not an ugly game, but, you know, it's, it's not the best looking game on the Mega Drive, but there you go. Right, so I got, got a hug, hang on. There we go, a spin kick, a roll, a side kick. Oh, hang on, yep. What's going on here then? Uh, I don't know, but why are you looking at the ceiling like a spaz? Um, but yeah, I find the controls a little finicky. They're all kind of directional based. That looks really nice, by the way, I have to say that. It's got this really, really cool gun mechanic as well, although I can't help but think, since I'm the Punisher, why don't I just whip out my cannons and blow them away instead of fisticuffs? But you know, it's a video game, so I oh, three second rule, shouldn't bring you know, that sort of level of logic to it. I don't like it uh, with the gun mechanic, where it, I don't know if it's because of the f trying to do a firearm effect that it's got this weird oh, blink mechanic, or the screen like flickers black. Oh, look at me, I'm practically fucking dancing. I do like that, you can pick them up. Twatty twatty. Out of the park. Oh shit. Oh. I can't. You've got like a power force sweep, haven't you? Oh yeah, check it out. Fucking WWE. Give me your knife. You may ask why. Because I want to stick it in your face. You know what? It, it, I do like beaters like this. Hey, everyone fucking chill. Um, just nice, solid, crunchy, punchy, crunchy, punchy. Uh, you know, like it just, it just feels like you, you're doing what you're doing, which is slapping them around. I like that. Bam! Hey. Nice. Oh, really nice. Right. It's classic 90s Punisher as well, with the black suit, the white boots, the white gloves, and the epic, you know, uh, skull on his chest. I mean, I know why they've updated it for Max and stuff like that, and, and you know, it's, it's cheesy and shit, but I don't care. I just think he looks absolutely brilliant like this. I have an accident. One of my favourite t-shirts in my collection is my Punisher skull shirt, with a Punisher skull made out of lots of little Punisher skulls. Never mind. If you've seen it in one of my videos, you know what I mean. Nice. That's how you uh, how you wave down a bus. All right, boss. Nice. Music's really, really nice. You're finished that, Bruno. Scully, get him. I oh, know, it's so specific with names. I want your axe. Yeah. Ooh, for a big guy, he moves pretty fast, man. Ooh. Oh, that's how you do it. Well, no, actually, I, I did it. I don't actually know how I did it. Oh. Oh, neat. This changes everything. Oh, am I out? Oh, wow, I've just got one knee. 
Look at the punish, man. I thought you were packing more heat. Now look at the bus driver, just just doing my job, just chilling, relaxing. Hey, down it back. Hey, Scully, what's that on your face? Wow. I, I kicked him in the face and the floor exploded. Who knew? Speed it up. Nice. I do like that, you know. Ding, 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 ding. Look at all the bonuses and shit you got. Oh, check it out, right? Tell me where your boss is. Now I will discard you with an epic throw. I've been working out, kids. Who knew? That's really cool. The only way to get into the castle would be via the drain pipe of the swimming pool. And my name's Frank Castle, so I would know how to get into the castle. Right, a little bit more and I'm going to call it quits. Why would you go in the pool? It's green. Oh, I can smash the the, 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 the desks. The, um, the wrenches up. Yeah, it's to stop the Germans putting their towels on them. I love the fact that for all these people who've taken a life of crime because they can't be asked to get a job, you know, they want instant gratification, they've still taken the time to learn a martial art. It's to their credit. Why would you get an axe? Boom. I keep forgetting I got a flying kick. I want a wrestling move you again, hang on. Come here, come here. Oh shit. Right. Kiss my axe. Does my axe look big in this? Come here, I want to axe you a quick. Sorry, I'll shut up. Mate. Hey, who wants a taste of my chopper? I do like that, that you keep your, your melee weapon, but if you're getting close enough, you can, you know, do that. And you don't drop it. That's kind of a really cool mechanic. Until it breaks. Oh, fuck. What the fuck are you firing? Oh! Wait, it's like one of the twin dudes from The Matrix. One thing I'd like to say really quickly, I, you know, the Kingpin is kind of punished as a bad guy or main nemesis, but at least, uh, you know, in the comics I read. But what I've never understood is exactly whose nemesis, I love that fire effect that Captain Hulk, Captain used in so many other games, whose uh, actual nemesis is he really? It's like, I don't know, he's looking for work, is he desperate, because is he Daredevils? Is he Spider-Man's, was he Frank Castle's? Oh, girly scream, were you a bird? I think they may have been a bird. Who knew? Anyway, I'm, oh, that's how you make an entrance, people. Why take the door through the window? Everyone at the party will be really impressed. I'm going to call it quits there. I just wanted, that's that weird flicker effect I was talking about. I just want to give you a quick uh, flavour, if you will, of the Punisher on the Sega Mega Drive. Gets flack, quite a sort after and wanted game, but, you know, price wise. It gets flack for not being as good as the arcade, but I think it's a pretty damn respectable port. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.